My Birds Laid Eggs by Jaden Animations. All right, Jaden, you about to have some little baby birds you got to deal with. What you going to do with them? Huh? Hey, that's crazy. For those who don't know, uh, Jade Animation doesn't only make videos about gaming and video games and stuff like that. She also just does story time sometimes. It's been a while, but she does those sometimes too. So I'm interested in listening to this story time about her birds laying eggs. Make sure you all love the video, like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get it. Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've had a story to tell. Yep, I just I said that. And it's because <laughs> my birds accidentally laid eggs together without my consent. Okay, so let's back up. I'm sure the <laughs> majority of you know this guy right here ari that wind waker the jaden animations lore if you don't know him you don't know me i keep right here by no ari because he destroys literally anything if he has access to it in a way you could call yeah, it not the computer but when i'm not around to give him attention i wanted to make sure he has a friend around and isn't just sitting there all alone and pitiful like so back in october 2019 i got tofu which oh my god tofu is much longer ago than i thought tofu four years just a baby she definitely isn't as well known as Ari but that's crazy we're talking about her now. it really has been four years back when tofu first arrived because i obviously hadn't gotten any other pets before <laughs> look at ari it's really important that she and ari actually got along birds can be pretty particular and some just flat out hate each other for no apparent reason some Damn. Sort of bird drama or something i don't know i was worried my birds were gonna mean girls each other slapped his ass suddenly I her ass. two singular birds which then doubles my original problem i went through the typical process you're supposed to do to introduce them keep them Okay. separate areas for a bit let them kind of see each other slowly introduce them in small doses and suddenly <laughs> they were best friends hey so happy plan b of having to get four birds was now not necessary so okay wait, everything was going according to plan i have two birds that can keep each other company when i'm not around nothing could possibly go wrong when there's a pair of animals that get along very well it was a piece yeah. of happy three years of two birds who were besties until this past spring where everything went wrong how could this happen i walked into the what bathroom happened? to give them their morning food and on their dresser i find oh they had already laid the eggs oh uh oh and by the way when i say tiny i mean you would be shocked to see how small bird eggs can be these things were the size of a quarter some of Dang. you may be thinking Jaden, why is this a bad thing? Jaden, it's the gift of life. This is a beautiful <laughs> moment of miracles. Okay, nah, sure, I ain't want this. Actually, no. First right? Thing, I don't want more birds. Especially right. fragile little fresh out the egg ones. Remember when I was worried I'd have to get four birds if Ari and Tofu didn't like each other? Why am I experiencing the same dilemma again? Yeah. Birds is already enough. Especially since one of them has devoted his entire life to being a full-time bastard. Anyone who <laughs> pet understands that that creature is equal to like three pets worth of Damn. It's a lot to handle at all times. And if my plate gets any more full, I'll unlock alcoholism. Second of all, oh no, not the not the, not the drink. I need to handle ASAP. I can't be like, oh, I'm I'm busy right now. I'll deal with it later. No, no you don't game. Procrastinating would only lead to possible hatching. Not 100, percent but there's a chance I'll get to that later. Oh, well, leads back to my prior statement. Oh. I've stated multiple times at this point of I don't want more birds. Immediately, mm -hmm. I was like, how did this happen? I've been preventing them from laying eggs together for so long. What changed? Unlike cats and dogs, birds can't really be neutered at least not easily you could get oh, okay monthly hormone shots or there's other stuff but it's just really complicated. <laughs> a drill off simply making sure their environment is set up in a way to discourage nesting and egg laying behavior there's a few okay. things you could do to prevent it but to sum things up basically don't let the birds nest if they oh wow a dark little hidey hole they'll start treating it like a nest and get hormonal and suddenly you've got eggs mm -hmm. nesting for the most part, no problem. I looked around the room and was so confused. All they had in there were their cages, climbing tree, <laughs> what and the drawer I bought to hold all their bird stuff. And the eggs were just on the top of the drawer too, not even in a safe burrowed nest-like place. Hey, that was good enough for them. They treated the whole room as a- Like an omelet. Oh. oh. This is not even close to motherly instincts. After a bit of snooping around- Damn, RIP to one of them. Back from the wall to realize, oh my God, these birds have been secretly burrowing into the back of this drawer like they were plotting a prison. Oh, wow. Ari and 
tofu squeezed their tiny bodies in between the drawer and the wall and started chewing the back of it to get into the drawers from behind. They literally gnawed through it like the nematodes in SpongeBob. You, wow. You know, the sawdust on the floor. Well, here's a picture. Oh my goodness. It looked like a construction site and smelled like Home Depot. Suddenly <laughs> it made sense. They were using the drawer as a secret nest. Uh -huh. I was in the room, they were out and about. Hi mom, please give us seeds. Nothing nefarious. Right, I was like, nothing going on here. And boom, straight to the forbidden nesting ground. <laughs> Criminals. As I'm connecting the dots. That's I'm hilarious, like, bro. I Mischievous realize. little birds. I don't even know which one of these knuckleheads even laid the eggs. When I got tofu, I made sure she was a girl. A okay. Lady. I talked to one of my bird knowledgeable friends when I was considering getting another and she recommended a female bird because there was a higher chance Ari would get along with her more than a male bird. So Tofu okay. has been DNA checked and female certified. However, way back when I got Ari, I never got him slash her checked. Green cheek conure genders can only be confirmed through DNA tests and there wasn't oh, wow. really any important reason to know Ari's gender at the time. So I just didn't. Over the years, I oh. him my big man because of the way he acted and behaviors he displayed felt very obnoxiously masculine. But mm -hmm. it's always more of a gut feeling above anything else. But I am now facing a possible reality that my bird I've had for seven years that mm -hmm. I've been head cannoning is male, could have been female this whole time, and is the potential mother of these confusing eggs. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes Birds don't need a male around to lay eggs. Think about it mm -hmm. like chickens. They just be laying eggs out the wazoo without a rooster <laughs> in sight. They don't care. Right. Egg. If it's a girl bird, that thing can lay eggs whether you or a male bird Damn. Like you or not. So in this situation, Ari possibly being a girl is the thing that's blowing my mind the most. Mm -hmm. One quick peek at their little bird booty hole swiftly gave me the answer. Oh. It's definitely tofu. If you know, you know. I'm just saying, laying three eggs a quarter. Of the oh, biologically does something to you. Anyway, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, you don't need to go into more no detail. We'll need it. Laying eggs <laughs> drains birds of their calcium and. Overall. It literally comes out of their butt. I to make sure. She I, I don't know the anatomy of birds, man. I, maybe they had a, an, an extra hole that's meant specifically for egg laying, but it literally, it literally comes out the butt. It's probably like passing a kidney stone. Ouch! And she three times. All right. <laughs> Laying eggs drains birds of their calcium and overall health, so I wanted to make sure she was generally okay. The vet took a look at her and was like, she looks fine, she's acting fine, we'll give her some vitamins, but she's still got more eggs in her. Oh. Wh Tofu, how many of those things you're gonna cook up? Also, we gotta limit this whole ordeal to as minimal as possible, please. Cause right. that bill was not fun. We can't be making this a routine occurrence. Gotta pay that money. Three laying eggs can also be pretty dangerous for birds. There's a chance it could get stuck and the bird oh. just dies. Oh. And to be honest, I really didn't want that to happen. So right. every egg meant an extra mountain of stress and anxiety for me. Hmm. The vet told me Conyers typically lay eggs every other day. So once she goes a few days without laying any, then I can come back and get her another checkup to really make okay. sure she's all good. So I let time pass. And in total, what a jillion meals later, a gillion. Eight. Dang. She was not supposed to lay that many. Eight no, eggs. Like, like four or five. So she basically laid two birds worth of eggs. Right? I, I don't know what to do but goodness right, finally done we can now move on to the second step in the what to do when your bird lays eggs without your permission plan hmm. I have to swap out the eggs for fake ones if i just yoink tofu's eggs away she's gonna be like what the f my eggs dude what the hell i just laid those and she's biologically programmed to start laying more to replace them Luckily, oh wow that's how that works on your eggs because coincidentally their bird laid eggs like six months prior to tofu oh they just had some went through this process and were definitely supplying me with mental support they lent me their fake eggs i swapped them out and perfect tofu is now trying to be a mother of eight balls of plastic after a few okay. weeks of them not hatching she'll move on forget all about them and everything will return to normal it was so what do you do with the heist. what do you do with the real eggs I gave them both treats stole all their eggs right in front of them and <laughs> did not notice you might be realizing even though tofu whose eggs won't hatch, I still am in possession of actual real bird eggs that may or may not be fertilized. Okay. As much as Ari could have been the mother, 
He could also be the father. I we don't know. Big drama. Are you the father? More like, is there even a father? After consulting huh. with the vet and various bird resources, I basically had to make sure no birds could start growing in them just in case. Even though it's very likely they were just empty little chicken eggs, we could okay. run the risk. But well, so, so is that how it works? So when like birds, like a chicken, a male, so a rooster still needs to fertilize the egg for it to hatch into a chick. But if they're not fertilized in the eggs that a hen lays is just like the regular old eggs that we like get out the store. Okay. I guess that does make sense. That's the reason why when you get eggs, they're not like, you know, eggs that could have been chickens. You're not eating like a, a, a dead chicken or a premature chicken because it was never fertilized in the first place. Okay, gotcha. By the various resources aforementioned, I was given- Some of that is probably common sense, but you know, it's not really the kind of thing I you think about. Smash them. Not all reliable. A tad bit too violent for me. I wouldn't be able to smash the eggs. Tofu, are these your little eggs? The first eggs you've ever laid in your life? Wow. Damn. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to do it. I could freeze them. Just put them in a little container, pop them in the freezer, and there you go. Okay. The last option, which sounded the most insane. Boil them. Was to boil them. Why? boiled eggs why does that one sound the most deranged and psychopathic why would you do that anyway people consume all types of bird eggs all over the world but boiling my own to actually eat them just feels way past the line in mental sanity so i popped them in the freezer to hang on to whatever humanity i had left that seemed a little different and they've been there ever since i i still have them i'll go oh. to have a popsicle and be like oh hello tofu eggs i don't mm. know even though they won't hatch they they still feel special they're my little baby tofu's little baby eggs i don't want to just throw them away like okay so you're, you're gonna hoard them forever them all right freezer forever because that's somehow the most sane option i was given some people okay. might be like Jaden, you should have tried to let them hatch but you do not understand i am absolutely definitely not qualified to raise baby birds i promise Mm -hmm. This was the best thing to do for everyone. Might have been worse. For the eggs. They would have hatched and tofu. died. God knows Ari would have been an awful father. <laughs> or mother. So that's what I've been dealing with over the past few months. Tofu's fine now. She's essentially back to normal. I okay. just removed the secret nest drawer they have claimed. I'm sure they were eh. happy about that one. But hey, you're real. Hey. So people will tell me, oh, you're the reason I want a bird. And I always think to myself, man... Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> the majority of people are not suited to own a bird. Case yeah. One, they can cut through furniture like chainsaws. Case two, they could lay eggs and curse you to put them in the freezer like the egg murderer you are. <laughs> or, or worse, I don't boil birds with all my heart. But if anyone ever asks me if they make good pets, I turn into the biggest hater. And you tell them no. Bird owner, You'd probably agree with me. Birds <laughs> are beautiful, intelligent, loyal companions. But they're also knife tornadoes who can force you to question your own mortality as you spend a fortune on vet bills. Damn. Thanks for watching. Hey, guys, <laughs> hey. all right, man. That was a nice little story time. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they had the little secret nest behind the drawer or inside the drawer. They had the little eggs. Didn't even know if Ari was a girl or not. You know what I'm saying? Had to figure that out. Eventually froze the eggs. I don't know why you would boil them. And if you smash them, you just ain't got... You just inhumane. You ain't got no damn morality at all. Like, damn, you just gonna smash the eggs, though? Just, psh, hell no. Nah. Forget all that. But uh, I definitely probably would've just froze them. And then what do you do with them after that, though? After you freeze them? What do you, what do, you do with them? Huh, that's weird. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, <laughs> but hey, that's a funny, pretty, that's a pretty funny story, though, man. I definitely would never want a bird as a pet. I actually knew someone that used to have a bird as a pet. They used to say the same thing. Like, yo, I like, I love my bird, but I wouldn't put, I wouldn't recommend this for nobody else. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the advice of that person and Jaden and never get a bird as a pet. You know what I'm saying? No, thank you. No, thank you. But I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the reaction. Make sure y'all show out love the video, like, share, and subscribe. If you have reaction suggestions, leave them down below in the comment section. And until next time, I am up out of this thing. This is what Daryl, we signing out. Hey.